Happy morning, children. Hope you are doing good. Hope you understood the previous lesson that I taught you in the park. Yes. Today we are going to discuss the last lesson of your term two. And regarding the articles, children, I have not discussed in the previous lesson because I will be sending you a separate video regarding the grammar itself, only related to the grammar. You can listen to the grammar video and you can fill up those things. Okay, now let us start your new lesson. The sky is falling. Lesson name is a bit tricky, right? Now do you know the sky will fall? Do you know the sky will fall down? Yes children, did you find any time the sky falling down? No, right? Now what is this lesson about? Why the sky is falling? Now let us see. Now in this lesson, you find lot many characters. So what are those? A rabbit, deer, lion, buffalo, peacock and also there was a narrator is also there in the lion. Narrator is nothing but the one person who is narrating, telling the story. Narrator is nothing but me. Okay. So there, there is a discussion or something is going on between these animals. The main culprit was rabbit. Who was the main culprit? Rabbit. Now what it started gathering all the friends. Why? For what purpose is it gathering? Let us see in the lesson. Now be ready with your textbooks. Page number 27. Now let us discuss. The sky is falling. Now narrator. Now first the narrator me. I am telling. A rabbit lived in a jungle. He liked to hop. He liked to smell the flowers. He liked to hear the birds sing. One day he was resting under a coconut tree. A coconut fell from the tree on the ground below. It made a loud thud. The rabbit was scared and ran. So what happened? The narrator was, the narrator was telling now. There is a rabbit that lived in the jungle. And it loves to hop. You know how a rabbit jumps? So it loves to hop. And also the rabbit loves to smell the flowers. Okay, and also the rabbit likes to hear or to enjoy the singing of the birds. So what happened? One day the rabbit was resting under a coconut tree. Resting in the sense it was sleeping very nicely under the coconut tree. So while the rabbit was sleeping, what happened? A coconut fell down. So from the coconut tree, a coconut fell down and it made a loud sound, thud. The rabbit was scared and ran. So as the sound made, looking at the or hearing the sound made by that coconut, what happened? The rabbit was very afraid and it ran away from the coconut tree. Rabbit, now the rabbit is telling, oh no, the sky is falling. I must run and tell the king about it. Who is the king, children? Lion. Now, as the rabbit heard a very huge sound, thud, made by this coconut, when it fallen from the tree, so the rabbit, what the poor rabbit thought, foolish rabbit, it was thinking, oh my god, the sky is falling down. I should run and I should say this to the king of the jungle. The rabbit began to run. He ran and ran. A deer saw him run. So the rabbit was in a hurry. It wanted to run very fast and it wanted to give the information to the king that the sky is falling down. So while the rabbit was running and running, what happened? A deer saw the rabbit running. Now the deer was telling, where are you going? The deer was asking the rabbit, where are you going? The rabbit is telling, please don't ask me, the sky is falling. I am going to the king to tell about it. So while the rabbit was running, the deer has seen the rabbit and it stopped the rabbit and it was asking, where are you going? In turn, the rabbit, what it was answering, please don't ask me anything, I am in a hurry. You know, the sky is falling and I want to inform the same to the king of the jungle. Deer. Let me come with you. Now dear, poor dear, it also felt very tense and it said, let me run with you. 
I will also come along with you. Let's run. Now who is running? Along with the rabbit, deer is also started running. The deer joined the rabbit and both began to run. Now the deer joined the rabbit and these two people started running. Now while these two people have started running, a monkey was sitting on a tree having a banana. He saw the rabbit and the deer running. Now the monkey was enjoying eating banana on the tree. So while eating the banana, monkey saw this rabbit and deer running all the way very fast. Then the monkey stopped. And what did he say? Hi friends, why are you running? So as these people were running, the monkey came down from the tree and they stopped their friends and he was asking, Hi friends, why are you running? Then deer, then the deer replied, Please don't ask us how the rabbit have answered to the deer. Same deer also answered to the monkey. What is he telling? Please don't ask us. The sky is falling. We are going to the king to tell him about it. So now the deer replied to the monkey, Please don't stop us. The sky is falling. We have to run very fast and we have to say this to the king. Poor. Do you know the sky will fall children? Is it not funny the lesson when we are listening it? Okay. Now monkey started. Oh no. Wait for me please. Now monkey said. Oh no. I will also come along with you. Please wait for me. Now who are the three started running? First rabbit. Looking at the rabbit. Deer started running along with the rabbit. Along with this two. Monkey also started running with them. So the three ran and ran. A buffalo was batting in, batting in the pool. He saw the three running. Now these three fools are running to say to the king that the sky is falling. So while they were running, there is a buffalo in the pond. It was nicely taking bath. And the buffalo has seen them running. Now the buffalo started stopping them. Are you having a race? May I join you? Poor buffalo doesn't know why these people are running. So buffalo, she came, the buffalo came and it stopped the friends and it was inquiring. It is it like, it's like asking them, why are you running? Are you having a running race? If you are doing a running race, should I join with you? Then monkey said, as you wish. The sky is falling. We are going to the king to tell him about it. So monkey said, if you want to join the race, you are welcome. You can join the race because the sky is falling and we all are running towards the king to say about it. Buffalo, really? Can I come along? Buffalo was also shocked, saying like listening to monkey's words. Is the sky falling? Oh my god, can I come and join with you? Then buffalo also joined along with these three. Now deer replied, yes please. So all four of them, who are the four children? First, rabbit. Then deer. Then comes monkey. Then comes buffalo. All these four started running together to the king. They ran and ran. They met a peacock who was dancing. He saw them running. Now, they, they have, now the peacock has seen all these four running. The peacock was dancing very nicely. And what did the peacock say? Now, now the peacock stopped the people. And he said, hi friends. What is the hurry? See my dance. Now the peacock has stopped the friends. And now she is wishing the friends. Hi friends. Why are you running? Stop running and enjoy my dance. Buffalo. Now buffalo is replying. The sky is falling. We are going to the king to tell him about it. So the buffalo was telling to the peacock, the sky is falling my dear. We are running to the king to say about it. Peacock. What? I can't believe it. Wait for me please. Poor peacock. She came into the words of buffalo and she said, what? I am shocked. The sky is falling. Please wait for me also. Now, how many started running? Five. Who are those? Rabbit, deer, monkey, buffalo. Now, peacock also joined along with them and 
they started running. All five of them ran. They reached the lion's den. Yes, generally where do lion live children? In the den. Lion. Now lion is asking, what is all this noise about? Now all these five, they came running, running and running. Finally they have reached the lion's den. Looking at them, lion was asking, what happened? What is this noise about? All are speaking together. All the five started talking. O oh king, the sky is falling. What shall we do? Now they are telling to the king, O oh king, the sky is falling down. What shall we do now? Now, lion, who saw the sky falling? So lion was inquiring, who saw first that the sky is falling down? Buffalo. The deer knows all about it because the deer has asked buffalo or the deer has given the information to buffalo that the sky is falling. Therefore buffalo replied, the deer should know everything about it. Then monkey said, no. Monkey said, not I. Sorry. Yeah, monkey, not I. No, no, no. Deer is telling, I don't know. Buffalo said the deer knew everything. But the deer, what is he telling the deer? I don't know. The monkey knows all about it. Because what happened to the deer? Uh, to the monkey who gave the information? Deer. Now what does the uh, deer is telling? I don't know anything. Monkey knows all about it. Monkey, not I. The rabbit knows all about it. Rabbit, yes sir. I saw the sky falling. What happened is all five people started sharing that the sky is falling. So one after the other they are telling, I don't know, they said, I don't know, she said. And finally, rabbit said, yes sir, I know. I said, the sky is falling. Lion, where did you see it? Where did you see the sky is falling, my dear? And then rabbit said, I was sitting under a tree. I heard a loud thud and I ran. So the rabbit was explaining to the lion that while it was sitting and taking rest under a tree, it heard a sound and it ran away. The lion said, can you take us to the place? Now lion was asking the rabbit, can you take to the place where you are taking rest and you, where you have found that sky is falling down? Rabbit said, I am afraid my lord. Because the first rabbit was sleeping under the tree, it heard a loud sound, it was afraid and it ran away. So it is telling, oh my god, I can't, I am very much afraid of it. Lion said, come on, don't be afraid, don't get afraid, I am there with you, come on, let us go. The rabbit took the lion to the place where he had heard this sound. Now the rabbit has taken the lion and everybody to that place where he heard the sound. The other animals followed. So along with them, the other animals also followed. The lion looked up at the tree. He understood what had happened. Now simply, it was so logic, given a simple logic, these fools started running. And what happened? The lion, it looked at the tree and he, he understood immediately what has happened. He laughed and laughed. I'm not sure I'm also getting a lot of love. How the coconut fell down from the tree, listening to that sound. Fool rabbit had simply thought the sky is falling down. So looking at everything and the things explained by the animals, the lion started laughing. Lion. Now lion is telling, you silly rabbit, it was only a coconut from the tree. So it's telling you silly rabbit, it's not the sky falling down, it's a coconut that fell down from the tree. Look up, the sky is still there. Now go back home, all of you. Now the lion came to the place, it understood what has happened and it was telling to rabbit, you silly rabbit, it's the coconut that fell down from the tree but not the sky. You can see the sky, it is still up. Can you imagine children, a sky is falling up towards it down? No. So poor rabbit, it has having a nice sleep because of that sound, it got afraid and it thought like the sky was falling. And it was afraid and it was running and it came and it met different friends. He also gathered all the friends and they started running and running each other replying that the sky is falling. Let us say this to the of the jungle. Finally they reached the den and they explained to the king the sky is falling. Looking
looking at that lion said, why the sky will fall? Now can you just take me to the place? Here, yeah, so the rabbit has taken the animals and the lion to the place where he heard that sound. Simply the lion looked at the place and he said, silly rabbit, it's not the sky falling down, it's the coconut that fell down from the tree. So the lion laughed a lot looking at the thought, silly thought made by this rabbit and it said, let us go home now. The sky is the, in its place itself, it is not falling down. Now let us go. This is how the funny thing did by the rabbit. Is it not children? Did you enjoy the lesson? Yes. Now let us underline the new words. I am muttering it out. Take your pencil. Once you listen to the words, search from the textbook and underline that and make a note in your notebook. Come on. Rabbit. Flowers. Resting, coconut, falling, about, running, going, narrator, deer, rabbits, join, friends, bathing, Along, peacock, dancing, king, belief, noise, sitting, thud, afraid, place, coconut, laughed, understood, Follow. So underline these words from your lesson and make a note in your note. Now let us discuss the exercises children. Read and understand. Write to or false. The rabbit lived in a city. Where did the lab, a rabbit live children? In a city or in a forest? In a forest. So it is false. The rabbit was resting under a coconut tree. So where is the rabbit resting? It is resting under a coconut tree only? Yes. So it is true. The rabbit thought the tree was falling. What did, he, what did the rabbit thought? Is it that it, it thought the tree is falling or the coconut was falling or the sky is falling? So rabbit thought the sky is falling. So this statement is false. A monkey saw the deer and rabbit run. Okay. So who saw first? Monkey saw the deer and the rabbit run or buffalo saw. So what is the statement true or false? First buffalo saw, a buffalo has seen or monkey has seen? Yes monkey has seen. So it is true. The buffalo was bathing in an ocean. So where is the buffalo taking its bath children? In a pond, not in a ocean. It is false. Now who said these words? There are statements, sentences given children. You need to read the sentences and you have to write the names. Who said these words? Okay. So in order you have to write this, you have to read the lesson. Oh no, the sky is falling. I must run and tell the king about it. Who said these words children? In the beginning of the lesson. Rabbit. Are you having a race? Who is asking this? Are you having a race? Is it monkey or buffalo or a peacock? Think. What is all this noise about? Who said? After these people have reached the lion's den, who said what is this noise all about? Lion. The sky is still there. Now go back home, all of you. So you just who said at last end of the lesson these words were said by lion. Now answer the questions. Where did the rabbit live? So where did the rabbit live children? In the forest. What did the rabbit like to do? So what does the rabbit like to do children? The rabbit like to jump. Yes. And rabbit like to smell the flowers. And also it loves hearing the singing of the birds. So what does the rabbit like? Rabbit like to jump, smell the flowers, enjoy the singing of the 
birds. Why did the rabbit begin to hunt? Why the rabbit started running children? Because it heard a loud sound, it was afraid and it started running. Who was the king of the animals? Obviously, who is the king of the jungle? Lion. Okay. Next, you have matched the animals with the sounds. So, animals were given and the sounds were also given. So, you have to match the animal with the sound they make. Okay. This all you have to do it with. Do it on your own because already you know what are the sounds made by the animals. Okay. In the next page, give a name for each of the words. Use the words given in the box. So, the few words have grouped together. Okay. Elephant, lion, dog. What are all these children? Elephant, lion, dog are animals. Table, chair, bed. What are all these three? Furniture. Mango, banana, grapes. What are these mango, banana, grapes? Fruits. So similarly, try to fill up the other things also. Read what are they actually. You have to write it down. You can take the help of the box given over there. Okay, now look at the pictures filled in the mess, missing letters. Now you have a puzzle over there, crossword puzzle. You have to see the picture and you have to write the spellings of the given pictures. Okay, so this is about all your lesson. Sky is falling. Okay, thank you children. Hope you understood the lesson. Bye-bye. We'll meet in the next class with a new lesson from your term 3. Okay, before that, I'll be sending you a video especially related to the grammar. Listen to that video related to grammar and you can fill the grammar, uh, fill in the blanks or whatever the things are there in your textbook. Bye children, take care, listen to the videos carefully. Okay.